epic roller coasters, let's take a moment and talk about them. Hey everybody, Rick here, and I recently came across an online article talking about the roller coasters that could be rolling into Epic Universe. I thought I'd take a moment, share my thoughts on them, and some of your thoughts. The article is from OrlandoParkStop.com. I will leave a link to it in the description box so you can take a look at it in its entirety. But when it comes to information on Epic Universe, OrlandoParkStop.com is the premier source. They have their finger on the pulse, everything epic. So without further ado, let's check out the article. With a possible total of four coaster attractions, there should be something for just about every thrill level, from kid-friendly and highly themed to extreme thrill and everything in between. Here are all the roller coasters we could see at Epic Universe. Coming off the success of two highly acclaimed coasters that opened recently at Universal Orlando, the Jurassic World Velocicoaster and Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, this new theme park is expected to continue the trend. Originally expected to open with at least three roller coasters, we now believe Epic Universe will actually debut with four. That would put a coaster in four out of the five areas of Epic Universe. I like the sound of that. Now let's get into the details of each coaster as given in this article. First up, the Donkey Kong Minecart. We can see that the new roller coaster is already under construction in Orlando, so it should be ready when the park opens. This new roller coaster is expected to use a new type of technology that was patented by Universal called the Boom Coaster. The design has riders sitting in a mine cart shaped vehicle that appears to run along a regular track, but in actuality, it glides along a sideways track that is hidden beneath. This design would allow the mine cart to appear to jump over gaps in the track, just like in the video games. The roller coaster would feature both indoor and outdoor segments. The indoor scenes while short, are rumored to include some animatronic characters. The Donkey Kong attraction will likely have the lowest thrill level of all the coasters at Epic, but with its dark ride style scenes and unique ride design, it has more to offer than just thrills. And that makes sense as the design of that roller coaster doesn't seem to lend itself to like high level big thrills. With rumored fire and water effects, familiar characters, and fun jumps over the gaps in the track, it could be much more than just a regular family coaster. So like this article says, maybe not the biggest when it comes to thrills, as far as like experiencing G-forces and such, but it seems like this coaster maybe offers some illusional thrills, With uh, in particular when you consider that illusion of jumping the track. But in totality, it seems like it could be a very immersive coaster and a super fun ride. But let's take a moment to see what some of you guys think about this potential Donkey Kong coaster. Now, these are the comments made on my Instagram account. You can follow me on IG at my Flix. But here is what some of you are saying about this Donkey Kong coaster. Go travel with Stacy says, if Donkey Kong turns out to be true, I really hope they do it justice and don't cut corners. That coaster could be really unique and fun if done properly. And then Cryptichu, as a fan of the Donkey Kong series, a Donkey Kong minecart coaster is way too cool to pass up on. Playing the minecart levels in the games fills you with suspense and adrenaline, so imagine actually riding out one of those minecart levels. Ben Hildy says Donkey Kong would be a perfect staple for the park, allowing younger and older fans to connect to an IP that is timeless. And Angel Eyes 865, super psyched about a Donkey Kong cart coaster. Love how they are going to do the jumps over a broken track. And it does seem like from... The comments I read on my IG, a lot of you are really looking forward to potentially having a Donkey Kong coaster. Moving on to the next potential roller coaster mentioned in the article. 
How to Train Your Dragon, a roller coaster can be seen encircling the top half of the How to Train Your Dragon land in the site plans. Now, FYI, just something to note, this article is going to refer to the different areas of Epic Universe as lands. You all know I prefer to use the term world when describing the different areas of Epic Universe. It's worlds that occupy universes. Now, back to the article. Rumored to be themed as a dragon training coaster, this will be a steel launch coaster. Its thrill level is expected to be similar to Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, but perhaps a tad more family-friendly. So, like Hagrid's, but just tone down a notch or two. Now, I think Universal does classify Hagrid's as a family coaster, but it is quite thrilling, and more thrilling than the term family coaster indicates, in my opinion. Unlike the Hagrid coaster, where all of the ride takes place within a sectioned-off area of the park, this one will twist and turn around guest areas, going under a bridge and passing behind other attractions in the area. Now, that makes perfect sense to me because it's to mimic you riding an untrained dragon, so it's just going to go fly off anywhere. Um, it's not fully trained, so it's going to fly over things and around things and behind things. So that aspect of the track being set up that way makes perfect sense. Most of the ride takes place outdoors, but plans call for a couple moments to take place within small show buildings. It is possible these could be for short show scenes, with some hoping for an animatronic R2 to be included. I think show scenes are good. They help to create like a more immersive experience, which is what we want from theme parks. This is not an amusement park where they just put roller coasters up, slap on a label. Um, we, we do want that immersive feel when we're at uh, these big theme parks such as Universal. Universal has patented a technology they claim can be used to make a realistic animatronic dragon tail. All right, that sounds interesting. Um, it's possible this technology may have been developed for a figure in this land and perhaps for this roller coaster in particular. So that's a little bit about uh, how to train your dragon. I gave you my thoughts as I read the article. Uh, but let's take a moment and see what you guys are saying about this potential How to Train Your Dragon roller coaster. RyJam writes, How to Train Your Dragon coaster could be epic. <laughs> it needs to have an almost true feeling of flying. Though the series is a bit older, a solid coaster could revitalize it at least for Universal fans. And then J. Lowell Wade Sounds like the dragon training will be like Hagrid's to me. That's cool, but could mean super long waits. And now for Frenzy's thoughts, how to train your dragon could be cool if it was similar to the dueling dragon layout, maybe a dueling dragon 2.0 type of coaster. Now let's move on to the hub racing coaster. Of the four coasters, this is the one I am most interested in. Most looking forward to this hub racing coaster. The most thrilling ride at Epic Universe is expected to be the dual track racing coaster near the center of the park. This multi-launch coaster will feature two tracks racing side by side for most of the duration. Okay, so here's your tribute to the old dueling dragon coaster that they used to have at Islands of Adventure. And I know a lot of you guys miss that coaster, especially the dueling aspect of that coaster. It is expected it will contain two separate tracks, each possibly longer than 5,000 feet and could reach speeds as high as 60 to 70 miles per hour. This would make these two coaster tracks not only the longest coasters in the Epic Universe theme park, but also the fastest. Well, just call me Maverick Flicks, as I do feel the need, the need for speed, and hopefully this hub racing coaster will provide. Now back to the article. We suspect this racing coaster to feature a space exploration theme. Well, we know it won't be Star Wars, but could Star Trek get some love? 
That's just me speculating for fun, and the article is not implying that in any way. I'm just saying I would like that. The racing coaster is expected to be manufactured by Mack Rides. In a recent interview, Roland Mack spoke about how they were able to resume an order for Universal, which is worth millions in the double digits. But now let's take a moment and see what you guys are saying about this racing coaster that could potentially come to Epic Universe. Aloha Jax. The racing coaster in the center hub looks like it's going to be fast and furious. LOL. See what I did there? But I think Epic Universe is going to be the new coaster mecca of Orlando. And that Universal is not going to let us down because we're family. LOL. (laughs) My man Aloha Jax with a few little... uh, Fast and furious innuendos. And then Zach FMS says, The racing coaster in the center of the hub looks great. The park definitely needs a high thrill and speedy coaster. Fion MC67, I think that this will be a good addition to the park, and I am most excited for the racing coaster. Dewey 0613, Universal set the bar high with Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, so I'm sure all the new coasters will be exciting. I'm especially excited for the racing coaster. The rumor is alive! Let's talk about the Universal Monsters coaster. A rumored coaster coming into Epic Universe. Now, this is one I have not heard much about until I read this article. So let me read you this piece and I'll react to it. One final roller coaster is now also rumored for Epic Universe. This project would be a late addition to the plan. If true, it will be built in the Universal Monsters themed area of the park. In the same recent interview with Roland Mack, He talked about how Universal not only had Mack Rides resume production on the large roller coaster, but apparently two other projects as well. This lines up with a new rumor for the addition to the Universal Monsters land. According to the rumor, what was originally expected to be an indoor theater attraction for the land is now changing to be a Mack spinning family coaster. While this section attraction is supposedly changing, plans for the land's main attraction, a large dark ride, is still going on as planned. Permits for the theater's building number seem to confirm the change as they recently updated and expanded. If this mysterious new ride does end up being a Mack spinning coaster, some are wondering if it would be an indoor ride like Space Fantasy at Universal Japan or an outdoor coaster like Storm Chaser at Poulton's Park. Either of those attractions' footprints would fit where the Monsters Theater was originally set to be built. Another possibility is instead of using lift hills like those rides, perhaps they could save space by using a vertical lift similar to Cobra's Curse at Busch Gardens Tampa. All three of these ride examples are from Mac and include spinning, so they help give us an idea of possible thrill levels for this rumored attraction. We don't know yet what type of theme this rumored attraction would be, but some are hoping for it to be based on characters like Wolfman or Dracula. It's still early for this new rumor, so we will have more information as construction continues in this area of the park. Now, I've been on Cobra's Curse And I've watched the POVs for Storm Chaser and Space Fantasy. I think I would prefer an indoor dark ride for this rumored coaster. I like indoor coasters and maybe Universal can take a trick from Epcot's new Cosmic Rewind coaster and add in some really cool projection mapping. A lot of you are excited for the possibilities of a Monsters spinning coaster, so let's take a moment to see what you guys are saying about it. Be Fergalicious. I'm excited for a Monsters coaster. I really hope it's not just a simulation with lots of screens, but a true coaster. Dante47. Monsters coaster? I've only heard about a huge dark ride, but would love either think I'd prefer a dark ride because the theming for Universal Monsters 
could be epic, similar to HHN. Well, Dante, as I just read, both are being considered. And Hey, It's Trey writes, a monster's coaster sounds really cool. I think if it ends up being a mummy-style coaster, they could be immersive with the theming. I am excited. And Hannah Lumpy Flamingo, I love some of these names, uh, there's so much potential with a monster's coaster. I can see it being like Hagrid's where we meet different monsters along the way. Either way, I'm going to cry when Epic Universe finally opens. I'm so excited. Mac 1491. I don't think a monster's coaster would be ideal. We already have a mummy coaster. Classic monster movies were all about suspense. I think a dark ride would make more sense. Well, they are planning the one dark ride, and this particular coaster could also be indoors, just like the mummy ride over at um, Studios. So dark and indoors and perhaps some projection mapping. Claire Bibby, I think it would be cool if they do the Monsters Coaster with a lift at the beginning like Cobra's Curse. It could be as if Dr. Frankenstein is raising us up to create a new monster with lightning. Then things might go terribly wrong from there. Yes, Claire, I like the way you think. And those are the highlights from the article from OrlandoParkStop.com. Again, a link to the article is in the description box. And if you did not get a chance to respond to my IG post about these four coasters, please take advantage of the comment box of this video and let me know what you're thinking about a classic Monsters coaster, a Donkey Kong coaster, a Hub Racing coaster, or the How to Train Your Dragon coaster. Now, before we go, um, I want to remind you that I have partnered with a candle company, Souvenir Sense. They have candles and wax melts for rides like E.T. and Butterbeer and HHN Fog and even HHN Houses. You can save 15% off every order with my promo code RixFlix at SouvenirSense.com. Again, a link to that is in the description box. And as always, I would like to thank you for taking a moment to discuss Epic Universe with me. And remember, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now it's time to relax. His name is Rick. Her name is Nikki. Showing how theme parks are done. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Hit subscribe.